it's game 6 of the ipl and we find ourselves in a very different situation royal challengers bangalore are in the top 4 of the points table yes i know it's still very early days in the tournament but still rcb will feel a lot better going into their second match when they face kings 11 punjab so two close matches for both the teams in the first match when rcb managed to squeeze out a win against sunrisers hyderabad who looked like they were in cruise control in the chase but some inspired bowling changes from virat kohli saw the team through in the first game on the other hand punjab had their hearts broken in the super over although it was looking all down and out for punjab in the first game in the first 10 overs when they were chasing a moderate total it was mayank agarwal who performed extremely well but was dismissed on the penalty med ball going for the glory shot in the super over the less we talk about the better it will be now let's look at the two teams yes abhishek another interesting game up on the card kings 11 taking on royal challengers bangalore talking about the 11 that kings 11 could field on the day i don't think they'll make much changes because it was pretty tough on them losing that match by a super over uh, they had it in their grasp in the last over but to reach that situation someone had to perform really bad considering the start they had i am talking about chris jordan well after that bowling performance and conceding 30 of the last over against marcus toynis i don't think jordan will be given another chance and another go directly into the second match i think they look into their options and uh, they have mujib as a very good option and i think considering the wicket and the pitch mujib will get a chance instead of jordan well i think the rest of the 11 picks itself i know puran and maxwell fell very cheaply but they are very good players and very classy players to drop in just one match so i think both of them will retain their spot so the rest of the 11 stays the same with mujib coming in for jordan just to recap what 11 kings 11 could play in that match against rcb i think rahul will again partner mayank agarwal at the top mayank being in great form and rahul being the captain nayar will come in at number 3 because it was just the first match and i know he felt it deeply but Uh, he did have another chance and i i think he'll play most of the matches for them uh, number 4 and 5 will be puran and maxwell again because it was just the first match as i said and these two will play again sarfaraz khan looks very promising and they'll be hoping that the, he clicks at number 6 krishnappa gautam at number 7 played really well hit some lusty blows and was very economical and uh, picked up wickets with the ball Number eight uh, will be Shami. He did very well with the new ball. Picked up those two early wickets and was very economical throughout his spell. Well, number nine would be Sheldon Cottrell. He again is a very good death bowler and he showed us just that in the first match. Ravi Bishnoi, the under-19 player who got his chance and bowled really well, will be at number ten. And Mujibur Rahman will walk in for Jordan. so that will make the 11 for kings 11 now up to rcb let's see what 11 they will be picking yes in the absence of chris morris so uh, i think they'll stay got a chance in the 11 well it's very rare to say that dale stain was a second choice in the playing 11 let's look at the playing 11 which rcb could field in this match against kings 11 punjab aaron finch and devdat padikal the youngster who showed lot of promise in the first game and showed no nerves playing his first ipl match will be the two openers number 3 will be the captain virat kohli at number 4 it will be abd villiers now in the absence of chris morris uh, rcb needed someone who could you know provide the late flourish uh, if needed and also consolidate if two or three quick wickets fell Josh Philippe who had a phenomenal BPL season will be a number 5 batsman at number 6 Washington Sundar will retain his place at number 
it will be shivam dubey who had a really good outing in the last game bowled some tight spells in the middle and also got few wickets at number 8 navdeep saini will be the first choice bowler who was again brilliant in the death overs for rcb although umesh yadav didn't have the best of the first match he'll still retain his place in the playing 11 in this match at number 10 dale stain who was a tad expensive but managed to defend 18 runs in the final over will provide that firepower in the bowling lineup and then the leg spinner yozvendra chahal who was phenomenal in the middle overs and took three crucial wickets to put the breaks will be the number 11 Now let's look at the playing eleven again. Devdutt Padikal and Aaron Finch will be the openers. At number three and four will be two of the best batsmen, Virat Kohli and A. V. De Villiers. At number five will be the wicketkeeper batsmen, George Philippe. At six and seven will be the two all-rounders, Washington Sundar and Shivam Dubey. At eight, nine, and ten will be the fast bowlers, Navdeep Saini, Umesh Yadav, and Dale Stain. And coming in at number eleven. will be Yuzvendra Chahal the lone leg spinner in the squad that completes the lineup of RCB now let us look at some key battles that may happen in this match the first and the very interesting one will be that of Maxwell versus Chahal if you have watched the recently concluded England versus Australia series you would know what Maxwell did to Adil Rashid in that final ODI he loves leg spinners and Yuzvendra Chahal is a very good leg spinner and he had a great first match and now against maxwell after he failed in that first match maxwell would be eyeing some scoring opportunities and he loves leg spinners and he loves to smack them for sixes clog them over deep mid wicket and it will be very interesting to see when chahal comes into bowl to him in the middle overs when match is excitingly poised hopefully so that will be one of the most interesting battles now let us look at the other battle right so abd villers had a wonderful match and he scored 51 runs and showed no rustiness coming in at number 4 but so did mohammad shami who was in rampaging form and looked like picking up wicket every single delivery he bowled in the first three overs so this will be one battle which will be mouth watering no doubt about that and promises a lot of excitement while abd villers can play 360 degree cricket mohammad shami can also bowl that mean nasty bouncer or even the toe crushing yorker so we'll have to wait and watch who comes out on the top in the battle of two that's it for the game 6 of the ipl Hope it's going to be a cracker of a contest.